My wife and I own Harbor Yak, and we are located in the historic Coast Guard Station in Asheville Harbor. When we finish this year, we'll have been in business for five years. Every day we would pass this building sitting here on the water, and we had a strong draw to it. Thankfully, we were able to make it happen. I've always been drawn to the water, and I literally fell in love with this river. People come here to enjoy the water. They want to be outside here. You know, we have awesome wineries nearby too. So we have a big draw of people coming from nearby cities to get away. I'm trying to get customers to gain a love for the water, whichever way it is. I feel like it makes you a happier person. You lose all of your worries when you're out here. Ashtabula was a town that relied on industry and a lot of factories back in the day would dump into it. You did not recreate in the river, it was that polluted. You used to use the term oozing because the river didn't so much flow, but it oozed out to the lake. Astubula was my first sediment remediation project, and it was a partnership between industry, the US EPA, the local city port authority, and the Ohio EPA. The entire community rallied around that project and they really drove that project to completion. The goal of the Area of Concern program is to you know, still have the opportunity to recreate and appreciate the river and use it, but also have the local jobs and economy used for the industry that has historically always been here. Water quality improvements over all the years has been dramatic. I mean, the water clarity has got much better. The fishing has got phenomenal. Yeah, really, really, really. The sheer amount of captains that there are in the water nowadays versus years ago, there was only a handful of us in the whole harbor. Now, as we, we slide out, you will see a multitude of charter boats up here. There's a lot, a lot of guys, a lot of great people. Just the amount of recreation in the harbor and wildlife, everything is thriving here. It's, it's pretty cool. It's pretty much just created by sand and debris, but where all the grass is, it's really marshy. It's a really great habitat for a lot of species to nest. Literally a safe place for kayakers and a lot of animal species. This river channel here is used by so many people and it's a livelihood for a lot of people too. This is where the silos stood. There was a machine here on tracks that would go from here to the conveyor, um, just moving coal. And then all the ships would pull in and then get filled up. Ashtabula River had six beneficial use impairments. So over the last 10 years or so, each one of those were taken off the list because the fish populations showed improvement, the sediment showed improvement, it wasn't as polluted. So now it's the first AOC to be delisted in Ohio and you know it's gonna be celebrated across the Great Lakes. My greatest fear would be something moving in to potentially cause harm to what we have built around the industry. When the industry left, Ashtabula had to get creative and figure out ways to bring people here, to bring money into the economy. Well, now we are becoming more of a tourist destination year by year. We just need to have a continued growth and community involvement. They realize now that they have come so far with all of this time and money invested that, you know, hopefully these people will be able to pass that on so they'll be able to maintain that so future generations will really appreciate how much has been done in the past and kind of hold on to that for the future of the river.